COVID is we've been working with our dogs touching our hand, touch with me, um, any number of things. So when we're teaching them an object, they may or may not be comfortable if we stick this in their face. Probably not. So what we want to do is, again, like I said, we want to get on their level, and we're going to, three different times, we're going to name the object. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say, I always use my honey, it's my dog's name, honey phone. I'll say, and then as soon as she acknowledges it, it can be a look, a tap, a, just a movement of the head. And what you'll find is that once your dogs become more confident of what it is that you're asking them, and they become confident that this is in fact the phone, that nod is going to get much more assertive. It might start with just a look, and it might end up with a very strong tap. But either way, as soon as they acknowledge the object, you're going to set that object down, and you're going to give them a treat with the hand that you have the object in. So again, you're going to say, honey, phone. As soon as they acknowledge that phone, you're going to give them another treat. Now we're doing that three times and we've talked on multiple occasions about why three is the number that we're using. But if you happen to get interrupted, like if a plane goes by, car goes by, kids go by, go ahead and do it two additional times because we're just trying to make it very clear what that object is. Then after you've done it three to five times, get another object, again, something that they're familiar with or that is easy for you, and I always use my keys. And so I'll switch it one time, and I'll say, honey, where, which one are the keys? Now, honey isn't gonna know, or excuse me, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll go with the phone again, the, on the third, on the, either the fourth or the sixth time. I'll say, honey, phone. And the reason why I'm holding up an alternative object is I wanna make sure that she knows what the phone is. I don't want her just picking this hand, I want her knowing what the phone is. So once she's successfully identified the phone with two objects in my hand, then I'm gonna go ahead and switch it. And I'm gonna say, honey, which one are the keys? Well, honey doesn't know what the keys are yet because we haven't named that object, but she'll know it's not the phone. So does anybody have any questions about that? Yes. No, you're not gonna hold the tree because you don't want the dog going for the treat, and some dogs will. You're just gonna hold the object, and then once they've identified the object, you're gonna set that object down, and you are gonna give them a treat with the same hand that you had the object in. And when, again, of course, when you switch to keys, you're gonna sit, and they've identified the keys, you're gonna set the keys down, and you're gonna treat with the hand that the object they've identified is in. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, anybody else have any other questions about that?